welcome back to Cosplay Genie. This is your favorite genie, Color Me Oren, and today's tutorial is going to be on a fun, scary, spooky effect where I'm gonna stitch my lips up. This is inspired by all the social media drama that we all see and how talking is prohibited. So let's go on and start off with this tutorial. So we start with dabbing liquid latex on our face and then I'm gonna cover it with tissue paper. We're gonna repeat the same process, letting it dry between layers dab liquid latex and then cover it with tissue paper you guys can use fevicol mixture for this one but liquid latex works way better now that i have a good thick layer and i let it dry i'm gonna take a pair of scissors and cut off all the excess that i have set it down and uh, once that it's all set up i'm going to use a little bit of makeup to dab on and set the liquid latex now before we cut on that and while we are waiting for the whole tissue mixture to dry up, we are going to do a little bit eye makeup just to enhance the whole scary look. I am going to make a little bloody eye lines, looks like I am not sleeping at all and add red and green specks all over them. Now using my makeup brush, I am going to powder the lip and add foundation so that the tissue and the latex mixture matches the rest of my skin tone. A little bit eye makeup goes a long way. You don't have to look pretty in this one, but it doesn't hurt to look slightly better. Now that everything's dry, I'm going to go ahead and dab foundation over my chin. You guys can go contouring on this one too. I just decided to go a little darker and that's why I'm going to use the same shade on the rest of my face. Now, for this step, be very careful. You have to take a pair of scissors and cut. I know it looks like I'm cutting myself, but I did not. And uh, <laughs> right now you have this huge slit. I'm using makeup blood. We have a tutorial on how you can make your own fake blood. I'm gonna link that in the comment section. And now, next step, I'm gonna take some safety pins and sew my mouth shut. And there you have it. But we, let's just add a little bit more gore, a little bit more blood into the final look. Finally, I'm gonna add a little bit of more white pale makeup on my skin and uh, conceal the edges where the latex and tissue is adding up to my skin and dab on some more powder. That's a lot of powder on my face. A little bit more finishing touching with drips of blood. You guys can make edible blood as well and that's how creepy it is. So that's how you do your gore makeup. Your basic ingredients that you need is liquid latex tissue. And if you can't find liquid latex and you're okay with using fevicol on your skin, you can totally use fevicol as well. You guys can go ahead instead of safety pin, use a thread and needle to sew your mouth shut. Or if you want to get a little more modern, you can go ahead with the zip. All you have to do is open the zipper and attach the two sides on your skin with liquid latex wherever you want to be and add the blood and gore if you want. Liquid latex is the base of all the blood and gore and I hope you guys liked this tutorial and it was helpful in your upcoming makeup or costumes. In our next tutorial, we are going to show you how to discolor your skin for an attack, a wound or a zombie virus. So be sure to check that one out and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you are connected and you get a notification every time we post a video. This is Kalmi Oren signing off and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.